Donald Trump. Not our favorite topic, of course, but uh, we did talk about Anthony Fauci yesterday saying that the NFL would have to come back in a bubble if they wanted to finish the season, et cetera, et cetera. Donald Trump immediately jumped on that. Now, we we talked yesterday, Chris and I did, and Chris uh, helped explain the situation and said, yeah, he can say whatever he wants to, but the bottom line is there are 32 owners that are going to go ahead with this. And they're not going to listen to this. They're going to follow the recommendation. That's fine. You can recommend whatever you want to, but there's a lot of money at stake here. We're going to go on with an NFL season. Donald Trump came out this morning. It was less than 24 hours. And he tweeted, Tony Fauci has nothing to do with NFL football. They are planning a very safe and controlled opening. It is amazing to me that it took less than 24 hours for the President of the United States to come out and defend NFL, defend football against a scientist that is just trying to give his opinion on when the game will come back. That lets you know whose pocket Donald Trump is in. Chris, do you agree? Yes, and the downside of this is now, because he has interjected himself into this, half the people in this country now are going to say, can't have football. Yeah, Just we're going to draw a hard line, and if you're anti-Trump, can't have football. And then all of the super Trumpers are going to be not only – we have to have football and we're going to have football. And that's, it has now become pol- something I love has now become politicized because one person has interjected his opinion. Well, and he, he did the same thing four years ago. Um, and, and it's kind of funny. Like he, he was talking about uh, Colin Kaepernick just yesterday and nobody yep. even mentioned it. He well, but that's because said, he said something reasonable about Colin and nobody wanted to cover that. And I'm not right. saying the guy's a reasonable person, but, I mean, he was asked, should Colin be able to come back? And he said, yeah, let him come back. And if he can play, let him play. Yeah, if he's good nobody enough. Nobody wants to cover that because you can't demonize him for that. You got to wait until he says something that we can demonize him for. Okay, now he's taking a hard line on something. Now we all get to hate this thing. And the other side says, nope, we get to love this thing. Yeah. So as far as, as Fauci goes... Um, it's interesting. It's very interesting that Trump comes out and says, ah, he's not the voice here. He's not going to make the final decision. Well, no, he we never, but he never that. was. Like, we agreed yesterday, Fauci's not making this call. We didn't need Donald J. Trump to tell us that. No, absolutely not. But it but is he strange. wanted to say it. He wanted to say it. And so he did. Yeah, he most certainly did. I th- I mean, we're going to have football. 100%. Like, that's happening. But now half the people in the world are going to hate football. And just and, because of this, and that's what upsets me. And I wonder what it means to college football. Well, we talked about that yesterday. It means nothing. What Donald says means nothing for college football. What Fauci said yesterday means a lot to college football. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Okay. Let's go ahead and, and get out of here. There's nothing that's broken in the last little bit that I know of. Nope. So, have nope. you seen? No. All right. So, I think we're good. It has been a wonderful week. Uh, Of course, we announced earlier in the week we are working with Sportsbook Review. Our college football content will be over with them this season. Uh, We'll give you more information as it goes along, Uh, but we have agreed to terms with them. Everything should be good to go. We're finalizing everything as we speak, but it is it's done. We will be on their platform going forward. You guys in the chat, we love you. Uh, Ben said, "Please keep the streams. We'll we'll be doing something." We'll be doing something. No worries. We're going to be doing. We're a still bunch doing of WCE, stuff. and then yeah. you can find the streams. You just have to go to SBR to find them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, They'll it, still be there. But that's just for college football, though. It's like just our, for college football. Hey, don't leave us. Our other don't stuff will us. be right here. Don't worry. Yeah. We we winning cures everything is not going away. So don't worry about that. But uh, Michael said live streams are great. Let's keep them going. Yeah, I think I think this kind of builds the community, right? G- gives everybody a voice. Lets everybody jump in and, and give their opinion. And uh, and we like for everybody to be heard here. So, that's the way it goes. We will keep it going as long as you guys want to be a part of it. Go over to the podcast. Leave a nice review. I saw that Michael left a nice review for us just the other day. We do appreciate that. Of course, continue those going. Share the show out with your friends. Tell everybody you know about it. It has been a fantastic week. Hopefully, next week will be more of the same. You guys have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you on Monday. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. 
If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.